how important is it, I guess, to do to do playlists and do sound kits? And well, if you don't do sound kits, you don't do sound kits, but just services and playlists, et cetera. I mean, how important is it to have that part of your business and not just have a, a just a beat selling business? There's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. But what's the benefits kind of having all these things and how you're how you're putting it together, what you're using it for? Mm -hmm. So say, for example, with the playlist, um, a lot of the ones that I curated on there, they're not just my beats. So I'm also showcasing like beats that I thought were tight. So it's kind of like in that sense of collaboration and like the type of person that I am in general is like, yo, if you're dope, like I'll show love. Like I'm not stingy about reposting, sharing your music because like it, it doesn't hurt me. It only helps like people out. Right. So, um, so that's how I started to make the playlist on beat stars. And then just in terms of like anyone that's like cruising, like my website, it just like makes it easier. Like, Oh, these are R and B beats, you know, like versus mm -hmm. like, like you said, I have like a hundred plus beats. So I can't imagine somebody just going line by line and they're trying to find like a Drake type beat. You know what I mean? Like you mm -hmm. could just make it so much easier for somebody. And like in the world of like business and marketing, the easier you make it for somebody to find something that they like, it lessens like their fatigue of like decision making. So it just makes transactions a lot easier to happen too. So yeah, if y'all want to write that one down. <laughs> yeah, that, no, listen, that, that's a gem. You can even hear you. This is what you title it. It's called the Costco the Costco way, because that's what Costco does. That's what all these big warehouse places, not saying producers are big warehouse places, but <laughs> go in there. They, what do they have? They usually have what one, maybe two options for a product. Like you go mm -hmm. on there, they don't have 19 different ketchups to buy. They got right. one, or maybe they got one organic, one not organic. So it's, it's like you said, it's making things simple for people and just make things so simple to where from pricing to what is included in your lease terms um, to exactly what they're getting, the BPM, the key, like all this stuff okay. that someone could possibly be looking for. You want to give it to them. Like why, why leave, you know, options on the table, right. Or, you know, another way of hopefully converting a sale. So make things simple for people um, and you'll be much better off. I can promise you that. So that's a gem. Definitely write that down. Um, but yeah, no, I think the other thing to a playlist to internet, people don't realize too, when you search uh, specifically on the marketplace, because playlists only live on the marketplace. But if you're mm -hmm. searching up in the top, um, you know, search bar, whether it's on the app or whether it's, you know, on the desktop or whatever, um, you know, you can search, I can type in Drake and hit search. And it's going to pull up all the tracks that, you know, come back for Drake. But if I filter and go to playlists, and you have all these Drake beats, but you never made a playlist, whether it's a Drake type beat playlist or just like my top favorite Drake beats I made, whatever it is, you don't have that. You're getting no traffic to that playlist. So that's another big thing because I see it all the time. I've seen people with 500 searches a month on their page for playlists and they don't have any. So it's like you're just leaving traffic out. So yeah. you want to make sure you're able to get, you know, you're able to pounce on that and, and give people uh, as many ways as finding your content. So I think that's cool that you're doing all that. So it's super important.